Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and thank you so much guys for coming to my live premium. So in this video, I am taking you to the Randall Island. It's a home to many cultural venues and hosts. Says numerous performing arts and cultural festivals all year round. So op um, operationally, uh, it is a self-sustaining and Granville Island guys is the home to uh, more than 300 business uh, employing more than 3,000 people so the Granville Island is a great place to walk around do some shopping eat some tasty food enjoy spectacular views and have a fantastic time so the Granville Island is usually enough time to enjoy the island a little more if you want to take a ferry down to the creek to explore some of the areas around one of the other ducks so the cost of the Granby Island ferry like $3.75 for adult or you can pay both both rides for $6.50 return for the round trip for seniors also is $2.50 and uh, and children is $4.50 uh, usually Granby Island and the aquarium center center first and last ceiling first ceiling is at seven dollar seven o'clock and last around nine o'clock p.m so for those people who like to walk uh, some people li like to walk from great granville island to downtown via hotel and granville island um, it's possible to do but not pedestrian friendly so usually spending around three hours on Granville Island is usually uh, enough time to enjoy the island a little more if you want to take a ferry down to the creek creek and uh, to explore some of the areas around one of the other docks Okay, so take the uh, uh, number 50 Falls Creek bus to the intersection of the Anderson Street and West Avenue. You want to take the bus. And if you um, rented a car for the trip, it's a six minute ride from um, the Heritage Hotel, Vancouver. Take about easy access uh, alternatively. If you have the adventurous spirit, take the aqua bus or the false creek ferry to the island. Okay, so if you wanna go for the evening at the Granville Island, are uh, enough to turn even an early bird into a night or meet one of the North America best public markets and choose close to 200 artisans artists makers and retailers across 40 acre island it's a common miss con conception that Bramble island is the daytime destination so uh, the restaurant look um, can you see the sunset from the Granville Island? So yes, at the restaurant located at the northwest corner of Granville Island have a spectacular sunset views of the city, making them a great place to have a dinner. So if your question is, uh, is Granville Island market worth visiting? Yes. So it's such a cool place. I highly recommend that you 
we stop over when visiting Vancouver, uh, Vancouver Island. The market has everything you can think of if you are with a lot of people that have a lot of different tastes. This might be a good place to eat since there is so much variety. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this video. Thank you very much. Bye for now.